John Burkow's hopes of receiving a peerage appeared to be in tatters following fresh claims of offensive behavior. Lord Lisvain, the former clerk of the House of Commons, is understood to have set out details of Mr. Burkow making inappropriate remarks in an official complaint submitted to the Commissioner for Standards, the Parliamentary Watchdog. Senior allies of Lord Lisvain have confirmed that his complaint goes beyond allegations of bullying and harassment to include examples of comments made by Mr. Burkow in his presence. It is the latest in a spate of allegations to be leveled at Mr. Burkow since it was reported last month that he had been nominated for a peerage by Jeremy Corbyn. A spokesman for Mr. Burkow dismissed the claims as unadulterated rubbish, adding, as Speaker, he made constant efforts to increase diversity and inclusion. His record as a champion of gender, racial and LGBT equality speaks for itself. Senior conservative sources claimed there was now widespread opposition among peers to Mr. Burkow being elevated to the House of Lords, a Whitehall source, said, if Jeremy Corbyn wants to nominate Labour people for a peerage, that's fine. But the ability to nominate a crossbencher remains with the Prime Minister. Mr. Burkow is also facing bullying allegations from Lt. Gen. David Lakey, the former Black Rod. In a break with convention, Mr. Burkow was not offered a peerage by the government upon leaving his role as Speaker. However, he has been nominated for the honor by the outgoing Labour leader. Lt. Gen. Lakey said giving him a peerage would be a scandal due to his behavior. The row comes after Mr. Burkow was condemned over his decision to name a number of parliamentary staff members without their knowledge or consent in his newly released autobiography Unspeakable. Two of those named were senior officials who he is alleged to have bullied, one of whom has never chosen to speak out against him publicly. Mr. Burkow categorically rejected the suggestion that he had bullied the pair and had only become aware of the allegations when media reports were published in 2018. 